Hi everyone, this is Gary Nell. Today, we're going to take a look at Key Factor 9 and highlight some of what's new. The first thing you'll notice is the overall visual change. We've updated the UI to match our overall product branding and bring a consistent feel to the product no matter how you interact with us. Don't let the visual overhaul fool you. The enhancements go well beyond the styling of the UI. Starting at the top, you'll notice a simplified user experience. We consolidated like features into fewer groupings on the main menu with a focus on usability. You will now find all enrollment, workflow, certificate locations, orchestrator options, and key management operations. Next, something you may have already noticed is a set of targeted dashboard tiles. These tiles are designed to provide instant access to the most vital statistics for the certificates that a user has access to. Each tile can be drilled into and quickly take action as needed. For example, I can open up a certificate here and take immediate action to renew this expiring certificate. As you'll see, when taking action on a certificate, we've also updated the certificate details tab. We've moved actionable tasks to the top of the window, we've enhanced readability by cleaning up the tabs, and we've added 24 real-time certificate validations. Any certificate failing validation will alert the user immediately with a visual cue. We've also enhanced some of our most used configurations, certificate metadata and certificate store types. Certificate store types have been moved to the gear icon. Additionally, we've made significant changes to how certificate metadata can be used. Traditionally, metadata fields configured via the gear menu would be displayed and possibly required for all certificate requests. As of Key Factor 9, metadata items can be configured or overridden at the template level. Here we can see I can use the system-wide settings or override for my specific web server template and make this field optional or hidden. Finally, we've added the ability to change validations for certificate fields at the template level. Historically, any validations or regular expressions set for certificate fields were applied system-wide. In Key Factor 9, these validations can be overridden just like certificate templates. Well, that's it for today's overview. I hope this helps prepare for some of the most exciting changes in Key Factor 9. 